What's up, boys and girls? What's up? What's up? What's up? You boy? Mm -hmm. As you might figure it out already, I'm on days off and I'm taking a rest because this year was very tired. But, you know, I'm all well rested, feeling great. Some coffee. Yeah, boy. Well, and I'm making videos and catching up on videos because I got like, like a hundred plus videos on the watch later list and I'm trying to catch up with all of them uh, because I've been you know trying to watch all as many as I can but kind of hard with work but you know I'm gonna have a couple of days and you know I'll be able to to catch up on some of the videos um, and uh, this is my ferro rod type of uh, thing Ferro rods are one of my favorite things in the world besides fat wood, besides knives and all that stuff. Ferro rods are like the coolest thing, the coolest invention, man. I really like them. Um, and I'm going to show some of the ones I have. This is like my fire army style, army model. This is a 2.0 because it has a striker with the whistle. It's a nice rod. I really do enjoy it. Um, it's just kind of uh, pricey for you know what it is but I'll tell you right now why I still buy them this is the light my fire mini this one has seen like a lot of uses and this is the old-fashioned mini it has the old-fashioned handle and the old-fashioned striker and I really like the old-fashioned strikers and handle better than the new ones for some reason so and this is the scout from light my fire also with the old handle style and the old striker and out of the three that I have from light my fire I think this one's my favorite because it's not too large it's not too small it's just the right size to carry in any kind of situation um, so it will give you a lot of uses but it won't take that much space so this is my favorite out of light my fire then I got now I got two of these these are the straight ones came with the knives and I really like the striker on the straight ones more than the actual ferro rod itself the, the ferro rod is still pretty decent pretty good it does spark really good but the striker is very 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 nice I really like the, the striker on the on the straight it's very heavy very thick very nice to use then I have several of the colons uh, they're decent Ferrots, they spark up good, uh, but what I like the most again is the uh, striker more than anything, and that's the reason I get them because of the striker. Um, you know the uh, the actual ferro rod is still pretty pretty decent. Then I got Mr. Nathan. This he's if you don't know about Nathan, he's our ferro rod connection here on YouTube. He's the one that takes care of everybody's needs when it comes to ferro rods. Uh, he's a ferro rod you know king and um and i got this from him i bought it off his um, ebay store um I, i'll put a link below if you don't know about nathan and i'll put a link to his ebay store and he sells all different kinds of ferro rods and this one i think is the monster one and it, it was pre-drilled so i put my linear to it and you know it's a very nice thick very comfortable to hold you know and i like it it's freaking large it, you know it's a big freaking Texas size type of ferro rod, like, and of course it's totally Collins, you know, to put on this one. And then I have the no-name ferro rods. I think this one's a 516s uh, by three uh, ferro rod. This one's our emergency. I bought a bunch of these. Um, I have them all over the house for some reason. I even found one in the. In, in my restroom for some reason I don't know why it's there I think I left it there someday I don't know but I found it when I was cracking up because I found one in my restroom what would I need well I know what would I need a ferro rod in my restroom probably to light up a candle or something but you know I found one there and they're all over the house in my room the kitchen I mean they're in drawers you know it, it just they're all over the place they're like emergency ferro rods and some of them have a home, like for example, Nathan's. It goes on my camping uh, camping mess kit uh, bag, so this, this that's the home for this one. 
this collins is in my well this one not not this one but one like this is in my pickup uh the shreds they go in their you know in their pouch with the knives this one i just have it i haven't i don't i don't put it in any kit it's just my my um one of my boxes that i have my knives on this one is on my fatty fatty kit fatty pack and this one is well i got some of these and they are in different kits also so um all ferrots will light up now if you get the right striker they'll will light up um some will throw more sparks than others and uh, the, the shower sparks will be different the reason being that the composition of the ferro itself um you know it's made out of different metals uh, that's why the name ferro, that's metal, fierro, right? Um, they are made of different metals. It contains magnesium and some other stuff in it. Um, but the composition and the percentages are different on all of them. They're not all made the same. Uh, the reason, you know, it's, I, I have no idea why they do them different. They should just make the same percentages on all of them, but and uh, some are more brittle than others, and some are, you know, softer than others. It depends on you know how it's made. Uh, the one that throws a lot of sparks and you know I have very good results with is the light my fire ones. That I mean the composition is great on those. I really really enjoy using them because it throws a lot of sparks like really easily. And um, is one of my favorite uh, ferro rods to use. The second one would be Nathan's. Nathan's has, I don't know how he gets them, where he gets them from, but it has a very nice composition on the ferro rods. Um, they also throw a lot of nice hot sparks, shower sparks, and I really like his uh, ferro rods. The third one would be the uh, the. The charade, believe it or not, throws very nice sparks to it. I think it's a little thin. It's okay, but, you know, I, I wish it was a little thicker. Um, but it also throws a very nice shower of sparks. Then the colons will be next. Still pretty decent ferro rod. And then the last one will be this one. Um, it still throws a lot of sparks, but this one you need more force to get the, the right shower of sparks. You need more pressure on it. Um but uh it still you know they still work they still spark up pretty good um and you know these things have been around for a long time um and even even uh big lighters big lighters have a very small ferro rod in them that's how you spark up the lighter and you know get the flame you know you have a butane gas under pressure when you press that thing it releases the gas uh, but when you rotate that little wheel, that little wheel, you have a spring that is actually pushing up a very small flint or ferro rod uh, up onto that wheel. So when you twist that wheel, it throws the sparks and then, you know, you have the release of the pressure gas that lights up the lighter itself. So, you know, it, it, you know it's, it's, it's a ferro rod with fuel. It's what it is. Um, and I remember when I was younger, uh, I would make uh, little lighter bombs, not not the whole lighter, but when they would run out of gas, um, or I would find cracked ones on the floor or stuff like that, I would break them apart, and I would take that little flint, and I would take that little spring, and I would tie that little spring around the flint and extend that little uh, spring, and I would heat it up with a lighter. I would heat it up and then I would throw it against the wall and that thing would like blow up making a bunch of sparks and I mean it would disintegrate so I would make you know little lighter bombs um, once in a while and play with them not a good thing kids do not try it at home um, but yeah it was like really fun to do it would just you know stand it put it heat it up get it hot enough and just throw it against the wall and boom, the thing would just explode and 
a bunch of spark will come flying out. Um, and that's, that was like my first experiences with ferro rods or when I started looking into them and, and, and figuring out what, what is it that they're made of. Um, then I would get the simple ones also and, and, and mess with those. And, you know, that's how everything started with me and the ferro rods. So ferro rods are one of my favorite things, you know, to collect and use. I mean, I use them for lighting up my um, barbecue sometimes when friends come over or stuff like that. While I go over to a place, I would just show them. Some people don't even know about these things. I mean, people I work with, they don't even know what ferro rocks are. I would tell them, hey, what is that? Well, it's like a lighter, like you scrape it. And they don't know anything about fat wood or ferro rods. Or, and they start explaining to them and showing them. And they're all like surprised. Like, whoa, I, you know. And it's like stuff that's been around for a long time. But a lot of people are not exposed to them. They don't even know about them. So it's, it's great to show something new to somebody and, you know, and see their reaction. And, oh, really? And explain to them, you know, well, this is what it's made for and so on and so on. Um, but, yeah, these are, like, great things to have. And they're great conversation pieces, believe it or not. So that's why I carry um, one with me somewhere in, in, in my truck or in my backpack or one of my kids. It's always one around and. I always try to show it, you know, to people that I think they may not know about them and, you know, explain to them how they work and what they are and, you know, try to get them, you know, more involved on in the things that I've learned here on YouTube. And, you know, what they will also have, you know, there's also fat wood, you know, and there's also this and there's also that. And so, you know, try to get them, you know, spark their interest on, on, on different things and experiment because it's fun. It's, just, it's some fun thing to do. Uh, get her, get you out of the routine doing like feather sticks and and shaving fat wood and and lighting up you know stuff burning stuff like my sister from Texas she likes to burn everything she finds cool and uh, stuff like that you know so you know this is just one you know just showing you my my small collection of uh, fair rods and uh, I think everybody should have more than one I do believe so believe me uh, they do come in handy. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.